In this video, I'm going to be hunting with a $1,500 shotgun and a $100 shotgun. Let's go ahead and unbox these guns and see what they look like. So we'll start with this cheap $100 shotgun. Supposedly, there's a full-size shotgun in this box. I don't know, but this looks more like something a pistol would be in. Oh, check out the packaging. There's the gun. There's not a single piece of foam in the box. Ew, gross. Can you see? Look at all the oil on this thing. That is, ew. It's so compact, though. What in the heck? Well, there's the shotgun. It also came with this little tiny box. I don't know what's in here. Oh my goodness, we got some choke tubes. Check out these quality choke tubes covered in rust. Improved cylinder, a modified, and a full choke. $100 shotgun, I'm not too impressed so far. Let's unbox this $1,500 shotgun and see what it looks like. Oh my goodness. This looks amazing. Gosh, I just dropped a super expensive shotgun. I'm gonna go and put the barrel on this and I'll show you what it looks like. I got the barrel on. This is what the $1,500 shotgun looks like. Got it in camo, it's a semi-auto. This is a Benelli M2 Field 12 gauge. Both these are 12 gauge. This is a Barathrum. I think that's how you pronounce it. The expensive shotgun also came with this box. There's some choke tubes in there. Also got some oil and this choke tube tightening thing. And I don't even know what these things are. I bought this choke tube instead. This is like a nice dollar choke tube. Well, that's what I'm going to be using for the expensive shotgun. Before we actually go hunting, we got to test the shotguns out and see how they do. Right there, I got a splatter target. It's about 25 yards away, and I'm going to take a shot at it with each shotgun and see how the patterns are. I got the full choke in this one, and the expensive ones got the new choke in it, which is similar to a full choke. I'm actually kind of scared to shoot this. Like, what if it blows up in my face or something? I don't even know if it's, it's ready to shoot. Like, I think it is. Oh, gosh. Major flinch. Okay, what if this doesn't even shoot? Oh! I did not, I wasn't even ready. That was like a 10 pound trigger. And my ears are ringing because I forgot ear protection. Goodness, that kick was bad. That was horrible. Okay, walking up on the target. Let's see how this cheap $100 shotgun did. Uh, honestly, that's a pretty good pattern. That's a dead whatever I shot at. I'm gonna go ahead and set this one up. We'll try the $1,500 shotgun. The most expensive shotgun I've ever shot was like $800. I'm really curious to see what this is gonna be like. There was like no kick, hardly at all, compared to the other one. That was really, that was crazy. Let's go check it out. Okay, well, I don't know about this. Point of aim's definitely off on that. So far, the cheap shotgun pattern's actually better, but I think I just missed most of the pattern on the expensive one. Okay, I just took another shot with the expensive shotgun, and that is more like it. That's a lot better than the other ones. Okay, guys, we're gonna be hunting now, so let me explain the rules for this video. Okay, so these sticks represent shotguns. This is the expensive shotgun and this is the cheap shotgun and these red berries are supposed to be animals we got small game animals which is going to be rabbits and squirrels and then we got feathered animals birds which is going to be crows and doves so for both categories i'm going to assign a shotgun to each type of animal we'll say this is rabbits we're going to be hunting rabbits with the cheap shotgun and this is squirrels we're going to be hunting squirrels with the expensive shotgun this will be doves we're going to be hunting doves with the expensive shotgun crows cheap shotgun and whichever one I think that's the best which is probably gonna be an expensive shotgun we're gonna be hunting deer at the end of the video so first we're gonna be rabbit hunting with the cheap shotgun let's go and get this thing loaded up with some eight shot probably not the best ammo for you know rabbits but it'll be fine I guess I did switch out the choke to an improved cylinder not a full because this is probably gonna be some close range shooting but here's what I'm doing I'm just walking around and making tons of noise and just trying to scare the rabbits out so I can blast them this is like guaranteed right here it's a rabbit right here should I just blow his head off I can't see him too good though oh gosh Huh? Did I miss that? I don't know if I got that or not. I reload. If I miss, oh my gosh! What in the world, man? I just closed it and it shot right when it closed. Oh my gosh, I do not want to hunt with this anymore. Ah, that hurt my hand. Let's see if, oh, I got the rabbit. I see him over there. I don't know what's wrong with this shotgun. I don't know if it's user error or there's actually something wrong with this. But I did just smoke a rabbit with it. So there it is. Let's go. I wasn't really expecting to get a rabbit that fast. So let's go home and cook this thing up. You know those ASMR TikTok videos of people cooking? I'm going to do one of those with this rabbit. So enjoy.
Okay, that was actually really good. Overall, I'd give it a 7 out of 10, which is like what I rate everything. It needs a little more salt though, but let's go squirrel hunting. There's actually a major problem with this already. Look at the barrel. Do you see that? There's a chip in the paint. And also, this got loose, so I super glued it. I was actually really thinking about just buying a new barrel for this because, you know, the problems it has. Every time I pick this up now, I'm just going to think about the chip in the paint on the barrel. And it's going to drive me crazy. But I could couldn't find a new barrel for this that had this kind of camo so I guess I'm just gonna have to live with it I only brought three shells because if it takes me more than three shells to kill a squirrel I'm a terrible hunter and I probably don't deserve to have this shotgun so let's go squirrel hunting it's like 50 degrees out but I'm still wearing like my car hearts and stuff should be squirrels out today so what I'm doing is looking for squirrels obviously but that's only like half the effort you have to put in squirrel hunting the other half is listening with your ear you just try to listen for the squirrel squirrels like running around but it's kind of windy out today so probably not going to help too much so i'm gonna have to mostly use my eyeballs i just seen him he's up there there's one up there playing the hiding game he's on the other side of the tree i need a stick this is how you outsmart a squirrel oh, oh gosh got him he might still be alive he might still be alive Where'd he go? There's no way this thing did not die. He jumped out of the tree like he was still alive. No way this thing got away. How do I miss a squirrel with a shotgun? How's that even possible? Using eight shot for squirrels, that was probably a bad idea. So today I got some of this four shot ammo for turkeys. We'll see if that helps. Can you guys see him? I can just like see his shoulders and head. That's it. I'm thinking about just shooting at him, but I know he's going to get stuck up there. Yeah, I'm not going to. Come on, squirrel. I got to eat you. Ugh. Come on. I've been squirrel hunting for four days and I not letting this thing get away. Yeah. It looks like there's a bigger hole below there. He's gonna have to come out if he wants to get over there because he's stuck up there. I got one more option and that is to just shoot the tree and see if it spooks him out. And then I only got one more shell after that. Uh, I guess, here we go. No! I am a terrible shot. Come on. Yes! Let's go! I just got a squirrel! Finally! There it is, the squirrel. Okay, let's go make some barbecued squirrel. Should be done by now. Probably burnt it. Barbecued squirrel. Has a good flavor, it's a little bit chewy, I'd give it a 6 out of 10. Hunting birds with these is going to be a lot more challenging than hunting squirrels and rabbits. So I got both the shotguns here and some clay pigeons. We're going to be doing some target shooting. First up is the cheap shotgun because I already got the shot cam on it. I am scared to load this thing now after what happened earlier. Oh gosh, that was scary. Pull! Oh, I got it! I don't know why, but I just threw that clay pigeon thrower. Oh! Smoked it. That was like 30 yard shot too. This should be better than the cheap shotgun. It has a longer barrel. I can shoot multiple times and it does have a lot less recoil compared to the other one, but I did miss like five squirrels in a row. So I don't know. Here we go. I missed. What the heck? This choke might be so tight of a pattern that maybe I'm just missing that bad. Maybe my, maybe I'm just that bad of a shot. I'm gonna try leading the target more and see if that helps. Oh, okay, there we go. Oh yeah. I'm gonna do a really far one and see if I can still hit it. Oh yeah. Okay, we're ready to go hunting now. So we're gonna jump right back into using the expensive shotgun for hunting. We are gonna be going dove hunting with this. And then after that, we're gonna be going crow hunting with a cheap shotgun. Okay, so this is my little spot. I'm gonna be waiting for the doves to come. And I have all these decoys I need to sit out really quick. Okay, let's go and get these mojos on. I already set up all the other decoys. Turn on this mojo and we're ready to go. I chose the expensive shotgun for dove hunting because doves are really small and fast. A lot of times you'll need more than one shot to kill a dove, so that's why I'm going with the semi-auto for this one. If I can get to get a couple doves, I'll be, that'll be fine with me. Oh, look at all of them. 
No, come back. I thought they were gonna come right to me. Oh my gosh. Got him. That was crazy, I got two of them. Those things came out of nowhere. All right, here's the one I shot really close. I'm really surprised he didn't get destroyed because that was literally a 10 yard shot. Oh man, this one got destroyed. Get back in the chair so we can get some more. So as you can see, the sun's about ready to set and I haven't seen any more doves, so I'm gonna make one more attempt to get some more. So what I'm gonna do is walk over there, see if I can flush some doves out of the woods, maybe walk along there too. Bring a bunch of ammo just in case. Hopefully there's more doves over there I can get. Oh, there went two. Two just flew up. Oh, there's there's some more. They'll just stay up in those trees, I bet. They're right next to each other. I might be able to get both in one shot. It's about 40 yards. Here we go. Oh, yes, got one. Now I gotta go through this really thick stuff to try and find this dove. Oh, he's right here, sweet. Nice looking dove. There's one right there. Holy cow. There's like a dozen right there in the field. That was like 50 yards. I think I winged one. I know I at least got one. Let's see if we can find him. That was a waste. Oh, I got two of them. There's one right there and there's another one right there. Oh gosh. I'm gonna have to shoot that one again. He's gonna fly away. This one's also winged. Okay, come here. All right, got one and two more doves. Let's go. I think the expensive shotgun redeemed itself after that squirrel hunt. We got a total of five doves. So I'll see you guys tomorrow. We're gonna go straight into the crow hunting and we'll just cook all the doves up with all the crows we get tomorrow. Okay guys, it's the next day. I got the cheap shotgun. I snuck over here because I saw some crows. I hear some back there and I saw one on a tree fly away. So here's what I got to bring them in. I got some crow decoys in this crow call. I'll just go set them out here so we can bring some crows in. Spread them out a little ways. Point it right towards the woods. And then I'm just gonna set up right over here in this, by this tree. Get the volume on max. We'll put on some crow gang. Okay, there we go. Now we wait for them to fly right in. There's two coming right in. Three. Oh, you stupid gun. Misfired. No. And there go my crows. All right, we're at the next spot. I just put one crow decoy out there, see if that helps. I'm gonna try a different crow call. It's like a crow and owl fighting. Yeah, that's what the owl sounds like. Oh gosh, right here. Too far. I think they know I'm here. Stupid gun! What the heck? Okay, this gun is a broken. What in the world, man? This gun is sucks! Wow, the one time it shot is when they were like not in range. Nice. I had to use my voice to call those ones in. It actually worked. Time for a new spot. Oh yeah. Yes! Dropped him! Finally got one. Didn't miss fire that time. When I was driving over here, I spooked some here and I knew there'd be more or at least get those ones to come back. And this one came in perfectly. That's how they're supposed to do it. Night. This Destroyed this one. Nice crow. Here's a dove and crow. I already cooked it. I just shook it in a bag with flour and garlic salt and fried them in butter over the fire. So here's a dove. Always got to dip it in A1 sauce. So that makes it a lot better. Mmm. That's so good. Dove is like one of my favorite wild game meats. It's so good. But I don't think I've ever had a crow that turned out good. So we'll see if this tastes as good as a dove. Flavor is almost identical, but it's so much chewier than the dove. It's like not even edible. Now the question is, which one of these am I going to be deer hunting with? Drum roll. Brrr, not this one. This one is garbage. We're going to be doing something called deer driving. Okay, so here's a map of the woods we're going to be hunting. Four people are going to divide up and drive. 
through the woods, flush the deer out the backside. You're gonna have a stander down here, and maybe a stander over here, so they'll kick out early. Yep. So, me and Jake are standing. We're the only ones that brought guns. So there's Jake going up to his spot. I'm gonna be standing right over here, waiting for the deers to come out. If I don't kill a deer today, I'm like kind of screwed because this is the last day of gun season for the entire year. We might have one. Did he say he got it? I think I just got him. Yeah, I got him. Let's go, I just got one. There's a coyote. Oh my gosh. There he is. It's not a deer, but I don't care. I got something. It's not a fox, you fat white. Yeah, does this look like a fox? Next shot, that one. I saw it coming out right in front of Brett. I thought it was a doe coming, but no, it's a coyote. I aimed like right at it. I was expecting to miss it. About 35 pounder. If you like hunting, make sure to subscribe.